Shalom, shalom, all praise to the Most High Yahuwah from whom all blessings and benefits flow. Saints, I want to say thank the Most High Yahuwah for allowing me to be here another day and looking at my family and they're doing the same. I pray the same for you and your family as well. I also want to say thank Yah for his son Yahusha, who died for the sins of Yasharel, his Ruach Haggadah, the one who leads and guides us in all truth, the one who seals us until the day of redemption. Hallelujah. Yah, I was in a place a few minutes ago downtown in the city. My wife and I had to go to some location. I'm not going to get into detail, but we had to go there. And while I was sitting there, the most I was, Yahuwah was talking to me about prayer. He said, son, most of my people came out of Christianity and most of them came out of churches that really didn't teach them anything about prayer, anything about living, anything about practical applications of the scriptures. And many of them are still at a stage of they just don't understand or know what the Most High requires of us. Some of them remember, and some of you remember, I even remember this right here. Most of us were trained in some of these churches to pray prayers like, now nah, lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Oh, you know, I, I may be saying it wrong, but I, I, it, you understand what I'm talking about. But they taught us how to pray like that. And I'm saying to myself, what, when I look back, what were they teaching us? What were they teaching us about prayer? What were they telling us about prayer? And they, they left us at that level as children and never graduated us uh, when we got to the teenage age and never talked about us at the grown stage of how we should be elevating our prayer. They just left us and gave us that baby stage. Here it is right here. This is what you need to pray. And we uh, we had that prayer. Look, Listen, y'all. I had that prayer right there all the way up till I went all the way to Germany in 1984 that's when the most i dealt with me and woke me up to who i was in him and i was praying that prayer all the way up to there because as a sinner i know when i went out and partied i got drunk i wanted to make sure i prayed before i went to sleep and guess what i prayed now i lay me down to sleep i pray the lord my soul to get that's all i knew about prayer and if you look at it today i don't know if the saints understand when we be saying how we need to pray it's not now lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord. The Lord is bail anyway. It's not talking about the Most High Yahuwah. We need to elevate and we need to graduate to a mature level of prayer, spending time with, in the face of the Most High Yahuwah. The scripture says, seek his face while he may be found. Call upon him while he is yet near. That prayer now lay me down to sleep is not seeking his face. It's not calling on him. That prayer is not Second Chronicles 714 when it states, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I forgive their sins, I will heal from heaven, and I will heal the land. See, Yah wants us to turn away from our sins. Now, we know that prayer was dealing with establishing Yahshua, Yah's people, but we're talking about the place that we're in right now. Everywhere we are, the land that we're in, wherever the, our feet touch, wherever our feet goes, especially those that are keeping y'all's commandments, his covenant. Everywhere we go, we have blessed steps. Every ground we touch is uh, in that place and in that moment. Those are our steps in Yah. The steps of a good man are ordered by Yah. Everywhere we put our feet, we're going to be conquering. We're going to be victorious. What we need to do right now is make up our mind to get into Yah's presence and start seeing his face. Saints, I'm begging you to pray. Now, this is why I, I'm talking about prayer because all the things that are going on, the last few, the last, let, let me say, the last five, five to six years, there's been an increase in hanging and murdering of our people. We know it's been going on for years. It, it hadn't just started happening, but I'm talking about the increase of it. I'm going back to five years. It's been increasing the murder, the hanging of the strange, what they call the strange fruit. Back in the day during that song, I think Miss Billy Holiday sung that song. To my strange fruit hanging in the trees. We were the strange fruit. Our people hanging in those trees. And right now they're finding young men and young Hebrew women hung in trees all around this world. That's why I always say, how can you end up marrying the heathens? And you know they have such a dislike, such a hate for you. When the scripture said, don't marry the heathens. It told you in the word, don't do it. You don't understand the hate and the uh, uh and the, the and the and the way they look at you and the way they the way they think about you the way they look at you with with disdain they they don't they don't like you 
especially when it comes down to relationship. Not all of them. You have some that really want to live for y'all. They know who we are as y'all's people. And y'all said they're going to be the ones that help us to carry our stuff home when we get ready to go back into our land. So there's some foreigners that's going to be following us all the way home. There's going to be some, as the scripture said, that's going to catch hold of the uh, garments of y'all's people, Judah. They're going to grab a hold to our garment. Ten men going to be grabbing that one man. Asking, can we go with you? Can we learn, learn of the way of the Most High? They're going to be crying out because they know, according to the scripture in Jeremiah, they're going to be stating these words. We have inherited lies. And they know it's happening right now. That's why they got an all-out warfare covered against our people. Psalms 83, where all the nations have confederate, have gotten together and said they want to wipe out Yasharel. It ain't that state of Israel. We're talking about the nation of Israel, us. The Hebrew Israelites are the people they want to wipe out. They want to wipe us off the face of the planet. That's why they want to mix their seed with our seed to wipe us out. You ain't catching it. You think it's just a love thing. It's a it's a love fest. Oh, all of a sudden now at the COVID, y'all ain't catching it. All this stuff is, is all over the land, all over the stores, all on the billboards, all on TV about mixing the seed together. It's to wipe you out. It's to wipe you off the planet. You ain't catching it. Some of you ain't catching it. A lot of you have caught it. I've caught it. It's a game. They're doing it right in front of our faces. They're telling you. Then after you get married to them, they still treat you the same. They still treat you bad. Ain't nothing you can do to make them happy. But what you need to do is learn how to pray. I don't talk about pray like you ain't never prayed before. With all this hanging, all this violence going on in, in the land against us. Not talking about no fear. I'm not promoting no fear. I said you need to pray. Pray don't promote fear. Pray promotes power. Hallelujah. If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Seek my face. Turn from their wicked ways. That's what y'all said. Then when I hear from heaven, I will heal the land. I may be missing some parts because I'm quoting off the top of my head. But go to 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. Read, read all of that uh, chapter. You'll understand what I'm saying about that prayer. Y'all told them even at the end of that prayer. He said, if you make this prayer heard in this place, I'm going to be there perpetually. I'm going to be there continuously to hear and uh, answer your prayers because you cried out to me. He said in his word, men should always pray. This is Luke. Luke said men should always pray and not faint. That's Luke, the 18th chapter, the first verse. He talks about a widow woman, how she cried out to the unjust judge about her being uh, take, uh, her being um, treated right because she was treated unfair. She wanted the judge to deliver her from her adversaries, and she cried out to the judge. The judge said the woman got on his nerves because she kept coming. That means prayer. Keep coming to y'all. Keep going to y'all. You can't wear y'all out with prayer. Now, you can wear him out with vain repetition. That stupid stuff. Is that my husband? You know the man married. Is that my wife? You know the woman married. And you praying that thing over and over again. That's that vain repetition stuff. I'm going to leave that right there. But what y'all want us to do is come to his throne. Come to the throne of grace uh, uh, boldly. You need to come to his throne boldly knowing that y'all is going to answer your prayers. Knowing that he's going to hear you. Knowing that he's going to say, I got you. I'm going to defend you in this situation. Like he did that widow with the unjust judge. The judge was an unjust judge. He said, but because this woman is wearing me out with her continual uh, 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 staying in my face, I'm going to answer her. And he answered her. And then y'all said right after that, shall not the Most High Elohim redeem his people or hear his people? Uh, set his people free from their adversaries if they continue to cry out to him day and night. He's going to avenge us of our adversaries. You don't have to worry about that. What you need to be concerned about is praying. Praying for your, yourself, your family, your husband, your wife, your children, your children, children, children. If you ain't never prayed before, get used to praying. Get on your knees and cry out to Yah in Yahusha's name. That's the name you cry for. In the name of Yahusha Hamashiach, we pray. That's what you need to pray in Yah's son's name. That's how you close out the prayer. Listen, Yah understands our heart. He knows that we have been calling on strange Elohims. In the book of Psalms, it talks about that. And Yah weighs our heart. He sees our heart. He understands that. But that's not giving you a permission to stay there uh, calling out those uh, names that are erroneous names. No, 
That's when we were ignorant to the fact. But once you have come to the knowledge of the truth of his name, you need to start calling on the name that's above every name. That's the name of Yahushua. The name that Yah gave his son, which Yahushua means, his son's name means Yahuwah, his father, is salvation. Salvation is of the father. The son was a sacrifice for our sins. He died once and for all. Yah is telling us men should always pray and not faint. He also said, be instant in prayer. Pray without ceasing. Are you hearing that? Pray without ceasing. As I just stated, pray without ceasing. We have to pray without ceasing. That means don't quit praying. Keep praying. Be instant in season and out of season. Even in prayer, you have to pray when you feel like it. Pray when you don't feel like it. We used to use an acronym a long time ago, PUSH. Pray until something happens. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens in Yahushua HaMashiach's name. Saints, we are in an all-out warfare against the lives of the Hebrew Israelites worldwide. Not just in one or two locations. It's worldwide. They have a hatred towards us. But it's nothing to fear because this is just a time of our redemption is coming. Yah is coming to get his people. But we have to make a stand in prayer. Not a stand in natural fighting with our fists. No, no, no. Make a stand supernaturally. Be strong in Yah and in the power of his might. What did he say in the book of Isaiah? Uh, my people need to travail. As soon as Zion travail, she brought forth. That means travailing is dealing with like a woman getting ready to give birth to a child. And she in such pain that she screams out. She's welling out to be relieved of the pain. But once the baby is out, then that pain subsides and she's released from that pain. But not, that's, in, that's in the normal cases. Some women may still be going through pain, but I'm saying the normal cases, after she gives birth, she is relieved of that pain and she goes back to a state of relaxation and rest. But Yah is telling us we need to travail in prayer. We need to intercede in prayer. We need to call on his name in prayer so Yah can come get his people. Like the children of Israel did in the book of Exodus when the enemy was chasing us down, coming at us, destroying our young babies, uh, coming against us. At the end of all they went through, at the very end, like Yah said, at our end, at the 400 years, he's going to deliver us and set us free. And he's going to bring us out with great substance. Saints, this is that time to cry out. And Yah is waiting on us to cry out to him. I mean, really cry out to him. So you'll start seeing Yah destroy and devastate these enemies and these heathens. They'll understand that Yah is on our side when you begin to cry and pray. You, you, you need to get Yah. That's where you're going to get Yah to move. When he hear the voice of his people crying out, he said, I listen for my people's voice. I'm waiting on them to cry out to me. I'm telling y'all, I'm begging you again, cry out to Yah. Get together with some saints and pray. Get together with some saints on the phone and pray. Pray in your house. Pray in your car. Pray everywhere you go. Begin to cry out together. I'm not talking about going in the streets, making a spectacle, trying to show people that you know how to pray. No, get in your secret closet. Get in your secret closet. Get in your prayer closet. Get in your prayer room and begin to cry out to Yah. Do it together. When the saints got together in the book of Acts, they cried together. The place was shaken because they were on one accord. We need to, Yasharel, get on one accord in prayer. We need to get together and get on one accord in prayer. Cry out to y'all like we ain't never cried out to y'all before till he start wreaking havoc on these enemies about touching this people. We need to cry now. Cry loud and spare not. That's what he's calling me to do. Lift up my voice like a trumpet. Make known to my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob her sins. My job as a watchman on the wall is to cry out to the people. And I'm telling y'all right now, wake up now and pray. This is not no fear tactic. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just telling you the urgency of prayer. This is a prayer request. Uh, I'm, uh, this is my prayer request to you that you start praying. Your prayer request to me should be that I pray even more and that you pray even more. We got to pray. Ain't time to be sitting around talking about it all day. Ain't time to be sitting around talking, watching games all day. It's time to cry out to Yah for our deliverance from these heathen nations. Look, saints, I love y'all. I promise you I ain't promoting no fear. I'm trying to put you into prayer. Prayer is more important than anything in the world. Don't go down there praying scared. Pray, if you are scared, pray until you get the victory. 
But you go down there praying in confidence, knowing that Yah has heard your cry. He's heard your prayer and he's going to answer. Leviticus 26 tells us about that. We need to do it. Luke 18 tells us we need to pray. Second Chronicles 7, 14 tells us we need to pray. Uh, uh, First Thessalonians 5 tells us that we need to pray without ceasing. Romans 12 tells us we need to be instant in prayer. We need to be some praying people. Saints, if you've never been a praying person, you just pray, just normal prayers. Pray to, at the dinner table. Pray before you went to bread. Pray when you get up to go to work in the morning. That's good. You did your general prayers. Now it's time to take it to the intercession prayers, the travailing prayer. It's time to go all out warfare prayer, crying out to Yah till he hears us and till he deliver us out of the hands of the enemy. Look, we love you all. Shalom. Keep the faith. Keep moving. This ain't no scare tactic. This is a prayer tactic. We need to pray now in Yahushua's name. Shalom.